What was so good? Uh, Julian, what genre of games do you find the most interesting? Well, okay, that's a tough question to start with. Um, I think ones that are primarily story driven, and obviously that goes across genres, but you know, I like games like, you know, there's RPGs like Witcher, and then there's Out of Wilds, which is kind of just completely open ended. Um, yeah, it's kind of a kind of a broad one. But so you say, like 3D first person games? Um, I think it's more about what the perspective is used for. Um, and I think in The Witcher it's because they use for your third person because you know you're you're playing as the, the character but they're already kind of a predefined character and you can see what they look like because that's fun whereas in Outer Wilds it's kind of an immersion thing I think so yeah it, it just depends why they're using it I think right so immersion is important though so I, I think I would say I prefer first person if it's done well what are some other examples of third person games you've played or is it just The Witcher Oh, well, in terms of like notable ones, I mean, I played some Red Dead, um, and that's the, you know that's got some third person. I think that's for the same reason as Witcher. Um, yeah, I think from from my experience, most games I play with third person, they have third person, so you can see your character and sort of admire how cool you look. And uh, did you enjoy Red Dead? That's quite story based, isn't it? Well, I didn't actually play much of the single player. I mostly been playing the multiplayer. Um, something I've, I've not something about the time period. I don't know. It's I wasn't particularly drawn in by um, by the sort of the yeah, just, yeah. It's not it's not really been a particular. I I kind of generally like sort of high fantasy or you know sci-fi kind of thing. Uh, have you ever played Dark Souls? That's the third person. Fantasy. I haven't, but I keep having people tell me I should. <laughs> Although I play, I, well, I played. Like an hour of Bloodborne when I was at my partner's place, and I was awful. <laughs> I think Bloodborne is very, very different from Dark Souls. I'd, I'd encourage you to give Dark Souls 3 a try. It's quite nice mechanically. Alright. Well, you'll be the third person I know who's told me, <laughs> who's told me to play Dark Souls 3. Uh, Maybe if it's on sale. Uh, how about like platformers, story, uh, story driven platformers? Oh, for, well, for pla I don't know. Platformers is one of those things where I think it's um, very gameplay driven. So games like um, Celeste or some of the Rayman games, or you know, classic Mario games. You know, you don't play those for the for the story. I mean, Mario doesn't really have one. Um, you play that for the raw sort of. I've always thought of immersion in two ways. You've got immersion in sort of like character and story, where it's almost like you're watching a movie. You know, you're you're drawn into that universe, and then you've got sort of mechanical immersion where you're drawn into, you know, the game. Um, it's kind of what online games like, I don't know, League of Legends or whatever have. So, so do, you, do you prefer mechanical immersion or story? No, I, I think for platformers, I just mean for platformers, I don't think story is, is that important. Um, Celeste just so happens to have a pretty good one, but for, for me, the highlight of that game was, was definitely the gameplay. So what would you say your favorite game would be? Oh man. Um, Maybe the top three is quite hard to choose. Yeah, I think top three is probably easier. Um, my first one, my top is Terraria, um, with that includes mods. Um, second would probably be Witcher 3, and third is probably either ooh, Ghost Runner or The Simpsons Hit and Run, which is obviously that's quite an old one, but. I know a lot of people are big fans of that. So, of those three, two of those were mechanical immersion based. Yes. And yeah. You're big on story games. Yeah. So, do you more just play story games to pass the time than as your? Well, I think it's the other way around, actually. Story games are the ones that stick with me more, whereas games that are more mechanical, I can I can kind of play over and over again. Um, for example, Outer Wilds, the gameplay is extremely basic, and that's on purpose. And as a result, I don't I don't, I don't replay that. Whereas uh, games like Ghost Runner or The Sims and Hit and Run, I can play over and over again because I get immersed in just the raw, you know, hands on the controller action or whatever. So Terraria being a very mechanical focused game, do you reckon it's the time you've spent with it that has made it be your favourite game of all time? Um, it's just sort of a perfect storm for me because I, well, I played Minecraft back in like 2010, 2011 when it was blowing up. and. Um, for me, the thing that Minecraft was always missing was proper combat, and Terraria has filled that in for me. Um, not to mention because it's it's a lot more detailed, 
than Minecraft, so it's it's a lot easier for me to kind of decorate and build stuff. I don't enjoy building much in Minecraft, ironically, but in Terraria I enjoy making cool looking places. And um, of the four primary classes, which one is your favourite in the base game of Terraria? Uh, probably Ranger. <laughs> it's kind of a basic choice, but it's it's the best one. And uh, well, I'd, I'd say Ranger or Mage, because there's a lot of uh, variation in Mage. Merely in someone or whatever. <laughs> I mean, I consider Ranger the strongest class in the game. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, in some of the in you know Calamity, which is the biggest mod, they they nerfed all ranged am uh, ammunition damage. So. I think it's pretty clear that they, they tend to agree. And um, are you a chlorophyte bullets and mini shark kind of man, or are you a chlorophyte shot bow and icor arrows kind of man? Uh, I think it depends on the boss. <laughs> I think for plant terror I'd use chlorophyte, but if I was fighting gold or something, I'd probably stick the echo. You see, for plant terror I personally use uh, holy arrows with a shot bow. I, def I... <laughs> I stick with what's familiar. Uh, and what would you say your favourite boss is within Terraria? Uh, I'd well probably either Duke Fisher or not Empress of Light, since those are the more and I guess complicated ones. Um, if we're just talking kind of the the base game, that would be my choice. Whereas if I was including mods, that would be so much more complicated question. So I don't think I'll bother with that. The mods have so many bosses and yeah. hard to choose, especially if For they're sure. all designed well with an interesting moveset. Yeah. I think Empress of Light is quite an interesting thing, yeah. um, especially tackling around the daytime. What do you think about that? I did that with, I had a partner who I played all of the game through and we did, we did that. And um, it took, I think, 28 attempts. And once we did that, nothing else in the game was a challenge because the item you get from it is completely busted. Terra Prisma is yeah. objective. It's horrible. Like it's, it's, it's insane. <laughs> yeah. uh, and what do you think about the fact that she can teleport and then immediately kill you with contact damage? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. I haven't fought her in so long, I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> Cool. Gaming. 